when East meets West, when old meets new, when demolishment meets establishment. This is the story of San Lituan, deemed as one of the most fashionable and trendy areas here in the capital. But it didn't always look like this. This is a result after multiple stages of renovation. Before 2017, this was considered the rough part or back street of San Lituan, where it used to be filled with street vendors, loud music, and dive bars. And some of you might have remembered the Mojito Man, a place that provided bus seekers drinks from this very corner. And from what I've heard, bad hangover was guaranteed the next day, but supposedly it was all good fun. From dowdy to dynamic, that lively yet gritty atmosphere has since been replaced by luxury shops and hip cafes. While it's no longer the same, San Li Twin has always retained its glory from past to present, as it still holds the title as the entertainment center for shopping, whining, dining, and simply playing. As we step away from the high-end stores San Lituan has to offer, let's go explore what I call the melting pot of food culture. And just around the corner, we can spot this fairly new Mexican restaurant, which offers authentic flavors. Let's go. Hi. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi Wow, this is Mexico on a plate. <laughs> yes. How exciting. Welcome to Las Musas. Yeah, so Michael, what is the most desired taco in your casa? For us, we love the steak asado tacos. Okay. Yes, so, so you can give that a try. Yes, so we like to keep our tacos mm. authentic and true to its natural meat flavors and the freshest salsas. So I hope you can taste all of those flavors combined to make wow, a happy taco. Wow, this is so good. The meat is so juicy, and the pepper complements the taco. Wow. Thank you. I'm in a relationship with the taco. <laughs> Charlie, you guys have been cooking and smoking up a storm for the past 10 years and plus. It means that people here love American barbecue. What do you think is the case? When we started in 2009, actually it was all Westerners. But over time, uh, Chinese have come around to it and now I think we're over 80% Chinese customers. I think part of that is just to the amount of care and the quality that we make sure the American barbecue food here is. Uh, we stick to the traditions. I mean, in everything from our bread to our, our sauces are made in-house, daily fresh, and smoked for over 10 hours. So I think that's the secret for it. This is so amazing. It reminds me of my good old days in America when we get together and have big plates of hearty foods. A sense of nostalgia. I grew up watching some of these films and cartoons. I can sit here all day reminiscing, but let's get ourselves served with some hearty foods. Hot pot symbolizes unity and harmony in Chinese culture, dating back to Zhou Dynasty in ancient China. Next, I'm going to try Sichuanese hot pot, which originated from Sichuan province. It's so good. It's a burst of flavors, including a spicy and numbing sensation. And what else is part of this winning recipe? Well, secret sauces. Hot pot is meant to be eaten with a group of people. It's a social event. It's kind of like gathering around a bonfire. We eat, we laugh, we converse, and we share. Louis, thank you for your invitation. We are here today because we are in for all things fresh, delicious, and traceable, this restaurant offers Western-style dishes with a creative twist. This chicken right here is so tender and I love the smoky aroma. I'm going for my second serving. Follow me. Hello, hi. Hello, hello. hello. Bienvenidos a la social. 
from sunrise to sunset was not love about this energetic capital.